is Maria Gutierrez. I am 28 years old and I am the soul and creator behind social media account Food by Maria. I'm a food photographer, recipe creator. So originally born and raised in Swift Current, Saskatchewan. For those of you who don't know where that is, that's in Canada. <laughs> My parents are both Greek. They were both born in Greece. They've lived here for around 40 years. Cooking sort of started with them, you know, having that inspiration for my mother and my grandmothers. When I was quite young, I would always try and watch, eat, nibble on what I could in the kitchen. Uh, but what actually ended up happening was when I was 18, I ended up becoming bulimic. So it was very difficult to love something that was stemmed from something so dark. And although I was going through bulimia and did go through it for six years, food sort of took the back burner. I was very passionate about it, but it was very difficult to talk about it. So once I ended up biting it, beating it, I kind of got to a place in my life where I could talk about it. And uh, when I moved to England to be with my boyfriend, after so many years of not being able to, di to digest food, my body was like, what are you doing? Like, this hurts. You're giving me all these symptoms. Listen to me, treat me. So I went to the doctor and I got this list of foods you cannot eat and foods you can eat. And immediately my, my mind was like, no, I can't go through this again. So I started documenting the food I was eating on Instagram. I would create recipes, sort of think about how they made me feel. And it, it, it went crazy from there. My friends were like, I like that recipe. And I was like, okay, I'll post it. And then before I knew it, something beautiful started and it's just been kind of like a whirlwind since. I get a lot of messages on Instagram. Hey Maria, I read your story. I know you were sick, I'm sick, please help me. It's, it's large and in charge, but I try and keep it as positive as I can. I'm not like massively technical. I have an eye for things and I have a knack for like knowing what will look pretty. But I think what's so cool for me is like, I photograph things for me and for no one else. I don't care what you wanna see on Instagram. I'm doing it for me. If I want to eat a bowl of soup, I'm going to create it, I'm going to make it look beautiful, and I'm going to try my best to take the best photo, and then I will edit it. So I guess the process is super fun. Getting the bowl together, putting the little cilantro, putting your lime. I'm still using the same camera I got um, last December when Food by Maria started to expand. Um, my father bought it for me, and it's probably the best investment he's ever given given me. Uh, at the time, he was not happy about it. He's like, you're going to take photos of food. It's like, I promise you, just be patient with me. It's a Nikon DSLR. But besides the actual camera, I truly believe that you can have the best gear in the world, but it's kind of just about what you see and how you portray it. Um, I love taking my photos outside. I use natural light all the time. And other than that, I use amazing backdrops. I make sure that they don't have very much glare. I don't using like using things like marble because it like bounces up. And then just being careful like with what you're using in the actual shot, not too shiny of forks and knives and just, I don't know, thinking really hard about the whole picture before you put it all together. I also want to express to people my motto, the, the words that mean so much, like so close to me. Fear not, food is your friend. If you're educated and if you take the time to just learn a little bit about food, it makes all the difference. And I find that Food by Maria does really help people. I get around probably like 15 messages a week saying, hey Maria, like I followed you for a while. I followed you for a day and I already feel more confident, but I just want you to know like you've helped me like overcome anorexia. You've helped me overcome bulimia. You've helped me fight and understand that food is important. I cry three times a day. There's no doubt about it. Yeah, I'm constantly crying at these messages. So I think the power of photography is so important because just with a bit of practice, you know, trial and error, talking to people, learning, you know, techniques and how to properly photograph can make all the difference because the better the photo, more people are gonna see it and more people are gonna be able to hear that message you wanna share. There are so many things that motivate me, but I guess at the end of the day, it's something I was struggling with for so long and hated for six years of my life has suddenly turned into like the most intense, powerful wave I've ever experienced. So I think that in itself is pretty cool.